Well, nice. We got some Batgirl news. I guess that's video worthy. Let me go ahead and grab my Batman mask so I can... What the heck? Is that... No. Really? Yeah! Guess who's back, 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 back <laughs> Hello DC fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. We have here some damn exciting news about the Batgirl movie, whether you want to believe it or not, because we have our first look set photos on the set of the movie where they're currently filming. And not only do we got ourselves a look at possibly Michael Keaton's new Batman suit, it looks like the boy is for sure going to be having a Robin and they will introduce a Robin into this Batgirl movie. I'm going to be discussing that here with you guys, but I'm going to need you Batman fans and you Batgirl fans to leave me your opinions down below. Right now, the DCEU is in a lot of hot water from the new direction they're wanting to take things with possibly erasing the Snyderverse and trying to introduce a bunch of other new characters into this new timeline. It's definitely gonna be an uphill battle for them, but let me tell you, as of me right now, being a big fan of Dick Grace and Robin, Oh, they are kind of selling me here. And just as a quick side note, guys, I do just want to tell you, since I'm actually going to be showing you leaked photos of the set of Batgirl, and this is Warner Brothers we're talking about, they are the stingiest, meanest company when it comes to leaks, so there's a really good chance this video will actually disappear, and not just that, I'll get a copy strike, three of those, and my channel gets deleted. So I'm taking the risk here for you guys. It would mean a lot to me if you just smash that like button or subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so just to bring you guys up to speed, if you're someone unfamiliar with everything that DC Universe is happening in your just excited to see Robin pop in here. This is all going to be connected and explained in the upcoming Flash movie we have with Ezra Miller and Michael Keaton. That film is going to be adapting the story of the Flashpoint Paradox, where the Flash will in turn go ahead and either go back in time or disrupt his multiverse. This Flash movie is said to be introducing characters like Michael Keaton, Batman, Supergirl, played by Sasha Kaye, and whatever happens in the event of that film, it's supposed to by the end erase Ben Affleck Batman from existence, as well as even the Snyder universe creating a whole new timeline where in the main DCEU continuity Michael Keaton will now be the Batman of that universe and that'll segue us into the Batgirl movie where Batgirl will then be trained by Michael Keaton Batman which is why she still has JK Simmons as her father Commissioner Gordon who was from the Snyderverse but because of this new timeline and multiverse jumping this Commissioner Gordon now belongs to Michael Keaton's Batman instead of Ben Affleck. Very confusing I know but hopefully the Flash movie can explain it and you can obviously see why fans would be upset about that because like a lot of people out there they like what Zack Snyder was doing with his universe and what was being set up with his Justice League only for Warner Brothers to be like yeah we're not gonna do that. So in this background movie that as of right now is only scheduled to come out exclusively on HBO Max which is kind of crazy to me with everything involved with the film and there was a rumor a couple weeks back that the studio was testing for the role of Robin aka Dick Grayson with possible people taking up the role like Joshua Bassett, Dylan O'Brien, and a Saad, Jacob L. Rohde. But then again, we just thought those were rumors. The film's already gonna have Batgirl being trained by Michael Keaton. How could they go ahead and introduce Robin? And he doesn't have a Robin that we know of from his movies. And well, it looks like the rumors are true because now photos are coming out from the set of Batgirl that's currently filming in Gas Globe, the same place they filmed Gotham for the Flash movie and the upcoming The Batman movie with Robert Pattinson. It's just the place to go if you want to make Gotham City. We have a photo of Leslie Grace in her Gotham City police police department sure as she will be coming one in the movie but the one that really surprised us all and threw us back was this stone wall mural that'll be placed in Gotham City of Batman next to Robin letting us know the rumors are true that Michael Keaton's Batman will actually be getting a Robin so there's a lot to digest in here and remember guys this is just speculation based off this photo there could be a million different ways they explain it but looking at the photo right here and analyzing this possible new suit for Michael Keaton I really like it. The bat symbol itself very much resembles what Michael Keaton's bat symbol looked like later on in his Batman movie, so that could be a strong possibility of what we're getting by the end of the Flash film. I like how they even painted on the white eyes here, so possibly Michael Keaton's Batman can be one of the first to do that in the new universe. But the thing I really want to talk about here is the dick. Grayson. Based off this mural, it looks like Robin will be getting his iconic outfit that I'm wearing right now. And he also seems to be looking a lot younger than the stars we were being told were tested for the role, Dylan O'Brien and whatnot. So that right there already lets me speculate to how this could happen. As far as this being in the DCEU, we have to remember Dick Grayson Robin technically did exist already in the Snyder universe. We saw a glimpse of his costume in Batman vs Superman and Zack Snyder later confirmed that that was supposed to be Dick Grayson's costume. 
costume and the Joker was the one that killed him instead of it being Jason Todd like a lot of people thought because of the comics. So it seems like what will happen in the Flash movie is after he messes with the timeline and brings in Michael Keaton as the Batman, his Batman will probably have saved his Robin, making him no longer dead in the DCE universe. And this mural right here, looking at how old it is on this brick wall that's deteriorated and maybe looks like it was painted a long time ago, this is maybe what Gotham saw in the early days of Michael Keaton and Robin going about Gotham City. And that would make sense. We have Michael Keaton, who's an older Batman, an experienced Batman. He's been doing it for a while, so most likely he's had Robin by his side for a long time. And you pair that up with the rumors that we heard about Robin being included in this movie is that he would remain Robin throughout the film because Warner Brothers wants plans to give Robin his own solo movie where he turns into Nightwing. And that's a movie that director Chris McKay, who did the Lego Batman movie, has been working on for years, but constantly gets delayed and put on the shelf. Obviously, you guys can tell by now, I'm really excited for this. And a lot of people are going to give me hate for that and just say, how could you be happy with this? The Snyderverse would have been better. And it's like, yeah, that would have been a cool universe to see. But at some point, we have to get over it. We have to know this is what they're going to do from now on. The rumors say that the new trinity of the heroes, instead of being Ben Affleck Batman and Henry Cavill Superman, is that it'll be Sasha Kaye Supergirl and Leslie Grace eventually becoming the main Batman with Wonder Woman Gal Gadot still being there. Is it weird that it's happening this way and it's all because of behind the scenes drama? Yes. But is it still happening nonetheless? Yeah, so I'd rather try and be open-minded, see if this could work, especially because they're bringing in Robin. Like, I've been wanting to see Robin for such a long time, and right here they might actually do it where he's not completely goofy and silly, even though I loved that as a kid. Come on, man, of course I want that. I know people are still going to be asking, what about the Robert Pattinson universe? Where does that fit into all of this? Well, he's in his own universe. Will I still like if Robin somehow showed up in that world and Robert Pattinson trained a young Robin in a very serious and dark way? Heck yeah. But it looks like in their connected universe this is what they'd rather go ahead and do and I'm all up for to see it and hopefully it can be amazing I love Dick Grayson there's so many cool stories you could do this could open the possibility for a Red Hood story or if not just the idea of that Nightwing movie where it'll start off with him as Robin and Michael Keaton Batman and they'll have that banter where he wants to go ahead and separate himself become his own hero that's a movie I'd love to see. And I know there's some hardcore Michael Keaton Batman fans that are probably screaming or already left a comment about it that he technically did have his own Robin, Marlon Wayans, who was cast to be his Robin in the third Michael Keaton Batman movie before that was scrapped and let go. I think they're even exploring that version of Robin in the comic books right now for his universe. I'd love if they gave us a mention of that in the universe, but based off this mural, it does not look like it'll be Marlon Wayne's Robin, which is a shame because I would have liked to have seen that. The last thing I have to say about this with the Batgirl movie is Warner Brothers, it's about time you announce this movie's going to theaters, because come on, you're dumping this kind of movie on HBO Max just like it's some sort of cheap straight-to-DVD movie? No, this needs to go to theaters. Yeah, Brandon Fraser, Robin, Michael Keaton, Batman, introducing Leslie Grace that's supposed to eventually become the main Batman of this universe. Give her the spotlight, please. This is where I throw it off to you guys. How are you feeling about this? Again, it's just my speculation and wondering. This might even not mean anything, but we'll have to wait and see when the movie comes out. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.